Hey guys! Welcome to a new mech spotlight. We hope you're as excited to see what we've got in store as I'm excited to share. You really like this new mech, don't you? Oh, absolutely. Orion is awesome, and not just because of its stats. I love the kind of gameplay and dynamics it promotes in Mech Arena. Is it a general love of crushing scorpions? Do we even have any scorpions to crush? No. What are you talking about? The Orion mech isn't named for how he died, it's named for how he lived. Ah, a hunter. Not just a hunter, the leader of a hunt. All right, since you're Orion's biggest fan, I'll let you take the lead on this one. Break down this hunt for me. It'll be my pleasure. Let's start at the beginning. Orion is an epic support mech, but don't let the role fool you. With decent HP, medium energy capacity, and the speed of a cheetah… I seriously hope you're talking about actual cheetahs. What? Oh. No, not the kitty cat cheetah, the mech one. In fact, Orion is a little bit faster. Now, as I was saying, with those stats in mind and some battlefield cunning, Orion can go toe to toe with attackers. Hmm, that's true. You'll have plenty of energy to mount weapons that give most enemies pause. And with that speed, you'll have enough mobility to slip right out of unfavorable fights. Exactly. You'll have all the firepower you want, which is important because. Yeah, because. Did you forget about what you were going to say? No, I was being… You know what? Never mind. Forget about it. It's important because Orion has a unique ability called Hunter's Mark. Sounds just a bit ominous. Let me guess, it increases the damage dealt to any mech that gets it. Oh, it's so much more than that. But yes, here's how this works. You launch a little flare at your target when you activate Hunter's Mark, and you need to hit an enemy mech for it to work. There's no range limit, and the flare even has a bit of a target lock. Sort of like Disc Launcher, but it can't pass through walls or other obstacles. Alright, so what happens if I miss? Your ability goes on cooldown. But do not despair! If you miss, the cooldown decreases from 12 seconds to just 3. You'll be able to try your luck again pretty fast. Huh, not bad at all. And if it hits? Oh, it applies a pair of status effects. Stasis for a few seconds, and marked for much longer. Marked? Oh, that sounds… not good. Oh, the marked effect is where the fun begins. First of all, any mech under a marked effect will take damage from all angles, as though they were being shot from behind, plus 50%. So every shot deals the damage of a superpowered shot to the back? Yikes! Yikes indeed! Anyone caught in the open when you use Hunter's Mark is in for a rough time. The only answer is to run and hide. Well, I mean, tanks can use their shields. <laughs> You'd think that, but no. When Orion's attack targets they marked, their shots partially penetrate shields. About around 30% of their damage goes directly to HP. Oh no. Oh yes. With the kind of firepower Orion can carry, it's a certified stone cold tank killer. Move aside, Guardian. A new star rises on the horizon. Can your star bypass Aegis's dome shield or Panther's stasis barrier? Uh, no. Sadly. Can't have everything, I guess. But you gotta admit, that's a really cool trick. I mean, of course. It, it sounds like a smart Orion player can identify and bring down enemy tanks, and very quickly too, with some help from the team. Exactly. Like I said, Orion is a great hunter, but it's an even better hunt leader. While Hunter's Mark gives a huge personal boost to damage, it really shines when your friends can take advantage of it. Oh, is this a good moment to mention that the marked effect spreads? What? Yep. If you manage to destroy the mech you tagged while the marked effect lasts, which is 10 seconds by the way, it will jump to the nearest enemy mech within 20 to 30 meters, provided it's within the line of sight of the destroyed target. I can see how that can throw a wrench into quite a few attack plans. Does the stasis effect go with it? Oh, no. The stasis effect slowdown only hits the original target. Only the marked effect jumps to a new one when the mech is destroyed. Well, there's that at least. Still, getting bonus damage from all sources like that is a heck of a nasty surprise. Oh, not all sources. Sorry. The marked effect only increases damage dealt by weapons. Well, great. So kill shots and Tangus will only deal their normal crippling amounts of damage. I guess that's not so bad. Hunter's Mark is just one more thing to look out for in the arena. Exactly. And it's always good to have another potential counter to those Arc Torrent tank armadas. I can see the potential for some very interesting changes, sure. Does this thing have any weaknesses? Of course. Orion is tough, but it's just not that tough. And it has no defensive abilities that can help it take a punch. It's pretty fast, but it won't outrun scouts. It has decent energy capacity, but the attackers will bring much heavier guns to the fight. True, and if you're caught with your ability on cooldown, it sounds like you're pretty defenseless. 
Orion should really avoid going mano a mano if possible. Like I said before, it's all about teamwork. Is that why you like it so much? Yeah. I adore more complex gameplay mechanics that prompt you to think of yourself as part of a whole, not a lone wolf on the prowl. By itself, Orion is a good mech, sure, but the real value lies in what it brings to the team's table. To get the most out of it, you must learn to identify priority targets and mark them fast. And your friends need to react just as fast. Yeah, you've got to lead the hunt. I get it now. It's definitely neat to see more mechs that focus on team play make their way into the arena. Orion and Aegis won't be the last. That's for sure. But I think that brings our mech spotlight to a close. We hope you guys learned everything you wanted to learn about Orion. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.